by author uh, Richard Elliott Hoynes, who was here, uh, the premier edition of the book, uh, Great Jersey Musicians. Uh, it was going to be rolled out tonight at a very special event. Uh, he's here with us until 3, uh, as is Lisa Bouchelle and Nick Clemens, uh, both here, both featured in the book and both appearing at the event tonight as well. Uh, so get down to a McLuhan Supper Club and uh, get your hands on this book because uh, it is just uh, terrific, terrific, much have. Uh, Richard, talk about the cover. Who gets the, uh, the uh, honor of being on the cover of the book and why was this person chosen? <laughs> Good question. The, uh, Jim Verdi's on the cover of the book. He's a drummer. Uh, the drummer is the heartbeat of the band. It's mm. the guy that sits in the background and keeps everybody in time and keeps everybody going in the right direction. So I thought, rather than pick an artist like a mainstream artist to be on the cover, I should pick somebody who's kind of behind the scenes, uh, keeping everything going. And uh, Jim Verdi, and you notice he's not looking at the, if you look at the cover, the audience can't see it, but yeah. he's not actually looking at the camera, he's looking away, so you can't really tell it's him. Okay. But it's... Uh, that's Jimmy Verdi, and there's a quote from him inside the book, as there are from, uh, I think, almost every artist in the book gave me a quote. Very cool. Uh, Lisa and uh, Nick talk about uh, the importance of a good drummer. It's the heartbeat of the band, right, Lisa? Oh, yeah. it's, it's everything, right? It's imperative, yes. Nick, absolutely. for you too? Uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. It's, uh, and if you have a good drummer, you keep them at all costs. That's the way it works. But they say like, the, the good ones are, are hard to keep and the bad ones are hard to get rid of, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how it works. But that's, yeah. uh, Jimmy's, heard the, that right yeah. Jimmy's the uh, drummer for the Blackbird Blues Band. Okay. Beautiful, yeah, good stuff. But uh, if even I can even recall uh, when John Bon Jovi working on his first the solo record, he had to have Tico. He's like, that's the guy. That's the guy I want to work with. It yeah. just it probably just doesn't feel the same. And to me, not being an artist, I don't know. You guys would know. It's just not the same when it's not that person that you feel comfortable with back yeah, there, right? Yeah, definitely. And Makes a big difference. It's yeah. Big time, yes. It's yeah. A heartbeat. So I mean, uh, you shouldn't always be thinking about it when your drummer's doing what he's doing. It should just be a feel that keeps everything moving. You know, if you start to sometimes when you start to notice a drummer you're working with, it's because there's an issue. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good point. It's almost you could equate it to, almost to like a baseball umpire. If you don't notice the umpire, he's doing a great job, right? Exactly. Yeah. When they start creating problems and getting attention, I guess drummers are kind of the same. Well, no, right? I mean, my, yeah, I mean, my drummer in the blue, Johnny D'Angelo, he's amazing, and. Um, he, you know, he has his times to shine and everything, but there are times where it's just the groove, you know what I yeah, mean? And mm -hmm. that's that's when I really think, geez, you know, he's just keeping this going. It's like a, like a train rolling, you know? It's right. pretty awesome. Yeah, awesome stuff. But Jimmy uh, will yeah. be at the show tonight. Also. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. And again, uh, the book is called Great Jersey Musicians. Uh, which is just uh, amazing artwork, uh, photographic artworks. It is the premiere mm -hmm. edition, by the way. Richard Elliott Hoynes uh, taking the pictures and uh, getting the book together and getting quotes from all the artists, like he had said. Uh, virtually a, a who's who of folks uh, that are uh, doing their doing their thing at the Jersey Shore, at the Jersey music scene. And uh, great uh, people, Bev. Uh, it's almost like uh, it's like the passport of the Tuesday Tunes. Tuesday Tunes, right? There's so many Here, people. Friends, yeah. As I go through this book, there are so many people that you have arranged to be on this show. And it's it's such a thrill to go through this book and see these are friends of ours. These are friends of yeah. ours. You know, we know them um, professionally and personally, just which is a, the best yeah, part. Yeah. And I love working with all these guys and girls, and it's just really... Just a fun time. Yeah, we have, we have fun, don't we, Bert? You gotta have fun. Yeah, yeah exactly. Two <laughs> trying to write a mix, you know, of, of artists. Yeah. We have some. We have some kind of. I won't call them old timers, but more classical artists. Mm -hmm. Kind of They're in the beginning of the book. Artists. Yeah. Season, yeah. Thank season. you. I'm trying to find the right season. word here. Yes. Yes. That's why you're the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's your show. I'm the wordsmith. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Adjectives. <laughs> and then we also have you know new artists like Quincy Mumford, like mm -hmm. Emily Grove, some of the younger talent yeah. that's right. out there, and really phenomenal talent. And Lo Closa, who was a scary oh, talent. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah, we had her. Right? Yeah, Michael we had her has Mike Gigan wow. been here also? No. Mike has produced her last album. He's actually touring right now with the Michael Jackson tribute band. Wow. Phenomenal. The guy can play sax at the same time as he plays wow. the keyboard. Figure that out. How do you do that? One hand on the sax, one on the keyboard. I've seen wow. it happen. I have pictures of him doing it. One hand sax. Okay. Yep. He's on my list, yeah. though. I don't know how he does it either, but the guy's phenomenal. We'll get him in time. Well, we got a guy in the room that knows a thing or two about a saxophone. Right. How, does it, how does that even work? One hand? Come on. Well, Joey Stan plays two sax sometimes. Wow. So oh you got to get that up what you want. All right, 2.45 uh, on the Tuesday Tunes at 2. What we'll do is uh, let's go to our contest now. Then we'll come back and we'll talk some more about the book and uh, maybe get some more live music from our special in-studio guests who are here. Uh, so let's get the phone lines open and do our contest. I've got the family four-pack of tickets uh, for opening night of the Somerset Patriots, uh, which is coming up on April the 18th, 7.05 at TD Bank Ballpark in Bridgewater. Of course, post-game fireworks. Uh, great family fun with the uh, Somerset Patriots. And I've got four tickets for the opening night game, 7.05 on Thursday, April 18th. If you want to uh, win those, be caller number four. And we'll also include our special bonus prize, 
pair of tickets for the Jersey Acoustic Music Awards, known as the Jammer Awards, which are happening this coming Sunday afternoon in Ocean Grove. If you want to win both prizes, four tickets for the Patriots opening night and a pair of tickets to this weekend's Jam Awards, we'll take caller number four right now, 732-545-9282. Or 1-888-545-9282. We call our number four right now, and both prizes are yours. Good luck. 732-545-9282. We'll come back and wrap up the Tuesday Tunes at 2. Nick Clemens here. Lisa Bouchelle is here. We'll come back and spend some more time with them on New Jersey Today on the New Talk Radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey.